Hey guys, Jersey Tooth here coming at you with another video. Today, I have the set that got me to rank nine this season in season four. I mean, we started out strong. We were almost up to a 62% win rate in Great League. But once Ultra League hit, it's like we forgot how to battle in some cases. No, but it's been a somewhat of a struggle so far in Ultra League. I've been trying a whole bunch of different teams. I did find a really good team yesterday, and I might put a video out on that, hint, hint, in the next couple days. But for this set right here, we had S Cavalier lead, which S Cavalier is such a great Pokemon for the Premier Cup meta. You just definitely got to watch out for them fire types because it just completely melts to a Charizard. So that's why we have our boy Swampert in the back to counter all the counters for S Cavalier. And then Gallade as a safe swap. I mean, it really isn't the safest swap, but there's not really too many things that hard counter a Gallade. And that confusion just chunks even if it's resisted. And those Leaf Blades come fast and furious. And then that nuke potential with that close combat hits so many things hard. So this team of Escavalier, Gallade, and Swamper, I do recommend using it. And it really was fun to use. But it just seems like it's so RPS sometimes in Ultra League Premier Cup that, you know, you got to switch it up some. It is so hard to get a 5 and 0, oh, that is for sure. Because there's so many different Pokemon that are utilized in this cup. But I hope you guys enjoy. I know rank 9, my starting ELO, wasn't as high as I would have hoped after starting that strong. But we got there, and it's still a marathon, not a sprint. And we're going to try to grind our way to rank 10. So if you guys are new here and you love PvP content, just hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and get notified every single time I upload my videos. The support has been tremendous, and I cannot thank you guys enough. So let's just get into these battles now. In this case, uh, can S Cavalier counter the meta? We will find out. All right, guys. See you guys next time. Thank you so. All right, guys. Let's get into these battles now. As you can see, I'm using S Cavalier, Swamper, and Gallade Safe Swap. First up, we got MSK1177. What you got for me? We got S Cavalier into a Clefable lead and a best buddy at that. So this is a pretty good lead for us so it looks like they're staying in here and we're just gonna fire off a drill run right here and see what they're gonna do they're gonna let it go through and then they're gonna swap into there with a lowly muck and I really didn't know what to do exactly at that moment but I should have been a lot quicker on the swap to swamper but we're not gonna shield the dark pulse and we're gonna over farm a little bit and fire our hydro cannon this is gonna be a neutral damage and a lot at that and it gets it down into the red and at this point, we have to shield because we were so slow on the swap. I got to really work on getting better at swapping quicker in the Ultra League. Because I, in Great League, I really don't have to think as much about our swaps because we know our Great League matchups like the back of our hand. But we take that matchup and they did a great little swap there. They brought in their Clefable and then brought in their Lapras right away. But that's okay. Now they're locked in with their Lapras here. And I don't have to worry about that Charmer hitting my Gallade. So we bring our Gallade on on this Lapras and it looks like they're gonna probably try to double shield through this and they're farming up a lot of energy here they might have ice beam and surf but I'm guessing they probably have skull bash so I'm guessing they try to go to a double surf so I am actually not gonna shield the first surf here and unfortunately they're gonna be able to ice shard us down but that's okay because I'm gonna be able to come in here with a scavalier and farm down this Lapras so we're actually going to bring in our Swamp right here because I wanted them to use their energy. That was my thinking right there. And now I can come in here and farm down. But they brought in their Clefable right away. But we have all this loaded energy on our boy S Cavalier. Takes out the Clefable and we're able to counter down the Lapras. And even with a shield, we take the victory. So that first match went pretty well. Once again, it could have been a lot better if I'm just a little quicker on the swaps. We got Star Shop is up next. S Cavalier until a Shadow Electrifier. This is the match I make a crucial mistake, and you're gonna see what I'm talking about here. This is a good matchup for S Cavalier. Just gotta watch out for the wild charge. And we I knew they figured they were gonna fire and, and dip, and they dipped into their Charizard. So now we have our Swampert here. Unfortunately, we they have a shield advantage, but I guessing they're not going to shield this Charizard whatsoever. So we're going to hit it with a Hydro Cannon and we're going to try to Mudshot farm down this Fire Dragon. 
and we were able to do so and they bring in their Gyarados here and in this point I was running sludge wave so I really it's really a toss-up if you rather run sludge wave or earthquake but in this case I'm kind of glad I had sludge wave because I was able to hit that Gyarados for a lot of neutral damage but there's a lot of cases where Earthquake is preferred, especially in an Empoleon matchup. So we bring in our Gallade here onto the Gyarados. And I was hoping I was going to be able to farm this thing down. And unfortunately, we have to use a shield here. I should have used a shield there. Definitely should have used a shield there. So they swap into their extra fire. And I'm just holding on to this shield for dear life for some reason. And I don't get hit all the bubbles. But I figured they were going to shield that. And at this point, I figured this was going to be a wild charge. And I should have... Why didn't I why didn't I shield that? I completely forgot that the Gyarados was still alive. And the Gyarados comes in and Dragon breasts us down and they take the victory. So I definitely should have shielded either that Aqua Tail or definitely that Wild Charge. But for some reason I thought I took care of the Gyarados and I knew I had a Leaf Blade ready for the Electrovire just in case they had two Wild Charges. But in the end, we all make mistakes and they took the win. So GG's to that trainer. And we have a horrible lead right here. We gotta get out of there. Charizard and they swap into their Swamper. So I'm thinking to myself, this must be a Venusaur in the back. So whatever we can do, we do not want that Venusaur on our Swamper whatsoever. So we kinda have to win this matchup right here. So the first Hydro Cannon coming through, they're gonna beat us to every one of these. So I'm gonna let the Hydro Cannon go through. Let's see if they want a double shield their swamper here and my thinking was if i had a shield i'd still be able to win in the end game and unfortunately they were going to be able to mud shot us down but thankfully they use their energy right there and they take out our Gallade. they win switch advantage retain switch advantage but we have a shield so at this point i want to counter down this swamper so i'm going to let their hydro cannon come through and i'm going to completely farm this swamper down so I know, oh, they actually bring in their Machamp, which was really surprising to me because this is exactly what I want to see because they have no shields and I'm going to be able to take out this Machamp with two Aerial Aces and then you already know what's in the back for this Charizard. They could fire spin us down. That is totally fine. And I have our boy Swamper in the back and they saw the writing on the wall and they back out and we take the victory. After making those mistakes in the last game, it was nice to bounce back with a dub, especially losing the lead that hard. Even though our, mis our mistakes were definitely made by our opponent. So in this matchup, Dragonite, I really have no Dragonite counter. I mean, those Dragon Breasts are definitely resisted by the steel typing of as Cavalier so I like to stay in this matchup because aerial aces are neutral and they, as you can see I already got this thing down in the yellow so we're not going to shield anything unless they start shielding so first dragon claw coming through takes us out it uh, takes us down in the yellow and I knew this dragon claw was not going to take us out so we actually let that one go through let's see if they want to actually use a shield here to win the lead and they do so i'm gonna swap out and go into my glade and two confusions almost takes it out and they swap out just before we take out the dragon eye and they bring in magneton and i wasn't exactly sure the move set on i figured i had uh discharge but magna bomb was the second move and unfortunately we do shield that i wasn't exactly sure about the matchup either how much damage the magna bomb was going to do all i know is i wanted to take back switch advantage so at this point we have to shield this up and it was just another Magnet Bomb. And we're going to completely farm down that Magneton. And we're able to Confusion down the Dragonite. And they brought in their Gyarados. And they decided to see the writing on the wall. And we took the dub. So that's 3-1 and one right here. We'll see if we can make it a 4-1. and one. Hyp Hypno Project is up. We got another Dragonite lead here. All right. We're going to try to do exactly the same thing as we did before. We're going to stay in this matchup. We're going to fire off our aerial aces like before. We're not going to shield anything up unless they start shielding. So that goes through, gets it down in the yellow. And once again, we're not going to shield this. It's just going to be a dragon claw. I, sometimes I'm worried about a hurricane coming through or whatever, but most of the time they're just going to go back to back dragon claw. But in this case, I decided to swap out into my Gallade right away and they stayed in and we got a whole bunch of energy here. So then they bring in an Empoleon, and what I should have really done, let's go straight for the close combat. Most of the time, Empoleons will not shield the first one, and 
once again they did not shield it but we had back to back leaf blades and we got a shield right there and i was thinking to myself should i shield this up but i knew that the next couple of waterfalls would have been able to take us out and they probably were going to double shield so instead i'm going to take the shield advantage and uh, the game i had the drill run so that right there it just hurt a lot and then they had a venusaur in the back so once again for me the writing was on the wall and i definitely should have just backed out right here but i was going to try to give it my best i had two shields and you know the sludge wave connected but once again these uh vine whips are just chunking away at the swamper grass types are no match for swamper i mean it just takes swamper down so quick so you know we're gonna shield it up just to make it try to make it interesting but the venusaur vine whips us down and they take the win so we ended this at three and two which it should have been a four and one for sure but as you're gonna see we finally got to rank nine and it was a grind and i'm happy to finally get there and now rank 10 is on the horizon thank you guys so, guys so much well there it is we finally got to rank nine in season four i shouldn't say finally because we got it pretty quickly especially taking the first day to try to get to rank 10 in season three but now we started out at 24 57 and we know what we have to do. We got to keep the grind on and realize it's a marathon and not a sprint and get to our goal of rank 10. With this team, Escavalier, Gallade, and Swamper, it really is a strong team. But as you can see, a Venusaur in the back can really put a damper on things. So I really do hope you guys enjoy. And as always, I'm going to put my Google Doc in the description and hopefully you guys can upload your great spicy battles or even just some great battles up to Google Drive and we can get a shoutcast done at sometime this season. It would mean the world for me to be able to give back to you guys. So until next time guys, Jersey Two Fountain, remember if you guys love PvP content and you like quality content, just hit that subscribe button, hit that bell and get notified every time I upload my videos and thank you guys so much for the support and I'll see you guys next time.